So welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Bible Snapshot. I'm glad that you're joining me today. My name's Frank. I'm here to help you and encourage you to be in your scriptures more every single day. I want your prayer life to be robust. I want you uh, to, to search the scriptures. I want you to not neglect yourself a spiritual feeding. Uh, don't don't sit there or only pull out your Bible one day a week. You should be doing it every day of the week. I want you to, uh, for you and God to become closer. I want you to pursue holiness. And I want you to be obedient to the Lord. And that's what the whole Bible snapshots and the direction of what we do here is to help you with. So uh, diving in, I was perusing the internet and I came across the story I thought was fitting because we've talked about false teachers here on the channel uh, now the last couple of weeks and made a, like three Bible snapshots talking about false teachers and bam here was a story that I uh, was highlighting what a false teacher could look like and I want to share that with you guys today we are going to be in Titus chapter one uh, for the for the scripture that would go along with this today uh, so if you have your Bibles you can have it open there but um, so before we move on any further, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you enjoy these Bible snapshots, let me know in the comments down below. If you think they're too short, let me know in the comments down below. I can spend a little bit more time in making them a little bit longer if you guys, if that's what, if that's what you guys desire. So let me know in the comments down below. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. Uh, this story coming to us, and it says here, Golden Clipper, prosperity preacher, flashes obscene wealth. In a haircut video. This is pretty uh, pretty offensive, by the way, uh, for Christians. If you're a Christian and uh, you have a pastor like this, uh, it should be a tremendous red flag, huge red flag, waving in the sky, saying, stay away, danger, there's something going on here. So let's take a look at the story here. It says, uh, the impastor passion Java is among the world's wealthiest and flashiest prosperity preacher, a self-described prophet. He founded the Kingdom Embassy Church in Zimbabwe which claims over 30 locations worldwide. In 2021, he moved to the United States, where he set up shop in Beltsville, Maryland. In 2013, he founded his own television network kingdom, or television network, Kingdom TV, which broadcasts his sermons and other rank heresies to millions of people, claiming to be, uh, claiming to, be to supernaturally interact with angels and having Benny Hinn as his spiritual father, his website notes. He's been nicknamed the Chariot Rider, Gaffa, and the FBI prophet because of the way he prophesies, including the prophecy of the death of Nelson Mandela, which he stated six months before it happened. He prophesied a year, month, date, minute, second, and place he would die. The devil, this devil who insists that money, giving him money, excuse me, this devil who insists that giving him money is the surest way to God's favor and financial blessing is worth between 50 and $80 million. Known to love a good flaunt, he makes a habit of posting his new purchases on social media, sharing his, uh, his like diamond rings, Lamborghinis, Jaguars, and recently purchased a 2.1 million Bugatti. He argues that because he was born poor, the Lord told him to show off his wealth. In a recent video posted to Instagram, Java shows off his designer clothes, phone, gold chains, flaunting his wealth and spoils of his flock fleecing. So here's a video. I'm not going to play the sound, but here's a video. You see the gold clippers here, the gold plated briefcase, and just the amount. Watch this. You'll see, you're going to see his, uh, his gold plated phone as well in this video. It's just ridiculous. This is not a pastor. This is a false teacher, someone fleecing the flock. This is not someone that you should follow. This is someone who needs to be called out. It needs to be uh, thrown from the church, put out in the church, because that is not what a what a pastor does or an elder would do, would not fleece and flaunt. Uh, this is not being humble. Uh, God would never tell you to show off your wealth. Uh, that's not what the gospel is about. The gospel is now about self-prosperity. Uh, that's not what the gospel has intended. But people like him are charlatan who will sit there and take advantage of his flock, who will sit there and ensure that they are not getting receiving the actual meat and, and, and message of the word. Instead, he's ensuring selling a false prophecy 
telling people if they donate money to him, God's going to bless you. That's not how it works, folks. So here, let me go ahead and put up, let's go ahead and put up some scripture here to, to go ahead and put this. This is a letter to Titus uh, from Paul in scripture here, in the book of Titus here, verse number five, it says, for this reason, I left you in Crete, that you should set up and order the things that are lacking. Appoint elders in every city as I commanded you. If a man is blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of disposition or insubordination, for a bishop must be blameless, a steward of God, not self-willed, not quick temper, not given to wine, not violent, not greedy for money, but hospitable, a lover of what is good, sober-minded, just, holy, and self-controlled, holding fast to the faithful word, as he has been taught, that he may be able, by sound doctrine, both to exhort and convict those who contradict. This right here, my friends, my brothers and sisters, does not display self-control. The gold plate, the fancy stuff, the, the amount of money, showing it off, it's not a lover of what is good. It's not even being sober-minded. What he has shown that he is greedy for money. And he wants to flaunt that. My friends and my brothers and sisters in Christ, we should be very aware of the false teachers out there lurking among us. They flaunt it. They're not shy about their uh, heresy. They're not shy of leading the flock away and enriching themselves because they will do it in a second. This is why I want to encourage you to be in Scripture. This is why I encourage you to be in your Bible seven days a week. Because of false teachers like that individual we just read about are out there trying to lead people astray. Trying to preach a gospel that is not a gospel of self-prosperity. Uh, the only prosperity I'm looking forward to is the prosperity that I will share with Jesus Christ in heaven. And hopefully that's you guys are as well. God will bless. He will take care of your needs. But it's now about self. It's about self, dying to self, and giving over to the Lord. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hopefully, again, you've been enjoying these Bible snapshots. Hopefully, you will share it with someone uh, on social media. And until then, I'll talk to you a little later. Have a blessed day.